Hill. I'm uh, Jason Kreidner. I um, want to introduce you today the uh, BeagleBone Black. Um, so that is a $45 1 gigahertz open hardware computer. Um, so I think that um, you know, this, this, this picks up a bit, um, a bit off where, um, where Gert left us. Um, so this is just announced today, um, but it's uh, a, a true open hardware platform. So, um, so, so different than some of the other platforms discussed, this one is one where you can get all of the, the, the chips, uh, the documentation, the, 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 the reference manual for the devices on the board, and you can do what you want with that design. So if you come up with the next billion dollar idea in your garage, you prototype it um, with one of these tools, you can actually um, go to market with that. You can actually buy the chips to produce your prototype of your custom board design. Um, you can then buy as many as you want and actually take it into production. Um, it comes with a Linux distro on a eMMC. Um, so it comes with two gigabytes of onboard storage. So um, it still does, it, it does have a, um, a micro SD slot, but it comes ready to use. You plug it in the USB cable um, that, that, that comes with the board and you can power it up off of the USB. And um, you don't need to, to, to buy any additional power supply. Um, you can, of course, connect up a, a, a monitor over the, the, the micro HDMI. Um, and it's got a USB port where you can connect a keyboard and mouse and it comes with a, a GUI desktop. But that's, this is what comes in the box um, and a, a manual of all of, of all of a business card, right? So that's the, that's the, the manual. And all the rest of the instructions about getting started and using the board are actually hosted on a website served up by the board itself. Um, so it's actually running a, a web server. And when you plug it in, it looks like a USB to Ethernet device. It also looks like a flash drive. Um, so if you have a Windows, Mac, or Linux PC, um, you just connect it up to it over the USB cable. It powers it up. It's running um, the web server. Um, you browse to it, and it starts teaching you how to use um, the board. Um, and if you, it has all the drivers there on the flash drive as well um, to, to configure that USB to Ethernet adapter. Or you simply connect it up to a keyboard, monitor, mouse, and use it like a desktop computer. Um, and it does include um, you know, full web browsers, things like uh, you know, Chromium and Firefox um, on it. And this is coming from a very proven ecosystem. BeagleBoard.org is a project we've been doing for about five years now. Um, so it, so it, we launched in, in 2008. And um, we have a, a, a large ecosystem of people building add-on hardware, um, documentation, tutorials, training, um, their entire college courses, teaching embedded Linux, um, where they share the materials online on wikis so that you can, you can go and, and get all of that material. Um, it's, 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 so it's a really proven ecosystem. There's several thousand developers in our, in our online mailing list and community, so there's a, a whole uh, set of, uh, of resources that you can use to go and, and produce your products. And there's a starting point for a lot of the different types of things you typically want to hook up to this, right? So if you wanted to attach an LCD or attach, um, you know, wireless communications, or if you want to, um, you know, connect up to, to Profibus or um, CAN bus, or you want to connect up to, to other types of interfaces like VGA to, for display. There's um, about 50 capes out there today, add-on boards, and virtually all of them, if not all of them, are all open hardware as well. So you can get the schematics, the layouts, and everything that you need um, to go and, and start building um, your own design. And the thing that's, that's really taking off um, right now is people building uh, 3D printers off of um, the, the BeagleBone because it's, uh, it's got a 3D graphics controller on it, um, it's got the, the I.O. capabilities, it's got pulse width modulators on it, it's got the A to D converters so you can read your thermistors. Um, so it's kind of that, that the best of both worlds, right? It's a, it's a Linux, it's a one gigahertz Linux computer, but it's also got all the microcontroller peripherals on it for doing things like low level drive and, and building 3D printers and you know, connecting up to the internet, downloading things from Thingiverse and printing your, um, printing your great designs. And then you're not limited, right? So I mentioned it's, it's true open hardware, right? You can get the chips, you can get the docs, um, you can get the software. Um, everything is, um, is open source and, and provided to you. Um, 
I, I mentioned just just quickly that this idea that when you plug in the board, that um, it, it has this website and it starts teaching you. Um, so uh, this is where I spend a lot of a lot of my time is actually writing this JavaScript library um, that um, that you interact with initially. And so all your the, the typical Arduino like functions like a, a digital read and digital write are are ones that there's um, so this is this is actually browsing to the board and there's just a, there's menus where you can learn about each of those individual functions right so you learn um, if I want to set a pin high um, that I, I, I do digital write I provide the pin name and I say that I want to set it high or I could set it low and this is all an interactive in browser experience so I can. I'm browsing to the board. I can change this. So if I want to set a different pin high, I just change the pin number in here, and I'm setting a different pin high. And I, if I want to try other commands in here, I can just type them in and, and, and press the run button. And then I can copy and paste all of this stuff into the, the Cloud9 IDE, which is an IDE that ships on the board. So you don't have to install any software on your computer um, to get started, right? So you don't have to download an SD card, program an SD card, put it on the board, then download some tools. Uh, everything is there for you to start getting started doing development in about a minute. Um, and if you don't believe me, we can. We, there's a, a training class um, tomorrow, so we have three training sessions over there, so we can actually um, to try it out, and you can actually you know, get, try this out for yourself. Um, but ev everything in here is, is you, so you can edit it, you can change it, you can click run, um, and it's built off of the HTML5 and JavaScript technologies, right? So these are things that I think are really fundamental. That I mean, kids in high school are learning. You know, you know, you, you need to be able to make web pages, right? You know, creating web apps. Um, I mean, this the the JavaScript interpreters are absolutely ubiquitous, right? I, I don't have to go looking around for you know fancy C compilers. You know, learning Visual Studio, and um, for for somebody who's just getting started programming, um, this is a, a a, a great first language that they can actually deploy, um, you know, onto. Well, there's no more MySpace, but uh, <laughs> but uh, that you can just you can directly deploy on websites that you serve off the board, um, and it's a pr really practical skill, right? So it's a very it's it's a very accessible first language to go and learn. And we see people picking up and using this in all sorts of of um, fun fun and crazy projects, right? So. Um, this is um, the, a, a mustache cam that's utilizing, utilizing the open source uh, OpenCV library. So we actually ship with a C compiler on the board, and, and tons. There's about 200 different open source libraries that ship with the board. Um, one is the the OpenCV libraries are there, so you can you can immediately start developing computer vision algorithms. Plug in a USB webcam, uh, plug in your monitor, or plug on an LCD. Um, we see people building art projects, um, museum pieces. Um, the, the fire burning man um, displays, right? So creating animated, uh, you know, he, this guy's taking animated GIFs and dragging them behind his bicycle and um, using the, the, the SPI port to really quickly shift out the, uh, um, all the, the bits for, all the, for lighting up all the LEDs. Um, we see people taking these ideas and doing Kickstarters out of it. And this has become a really popular way for engineers to kind of pursue their, their personal passions and to, to see their ideas come to life, right? So they, um, the, these are the Ninja Blocks and the Open ROV. So both of these guys ran uh, successful Kickstarters uh, to fund um, their development and actually release a, a, a product to market. Um, and then we see lots of people building up accessories. I mean, there's great tools like fritzing for, docu you know, for, for documenting your, um, your, your projects, um, you know, Tons of uh, training videos. Um, there's a couple of, um, of books that are coming out. Uh, I know that Matt Richardson released a, a, an early release of a is getting started with a BeagleBone book um, today. So you can actually download like um, four or five chapters of that today. Um, and then I've I've worked on a a, a, um, a textbook as well. So that um, should be going out this week. Um, so there's full text and and, and things that you can um, build upon. And I, that may be my is that my last slide? All right. Um, so there's um, really no end to, to what you can do and what people have done um, with the, the, the BeagleBone already. Um, but now by uh, we've essentially cut the price in half um, from, from 90 to $45, uh, increased the performance up to a gigahertz for running ARMv7 instruction sets. You can run operating systems that you're familiar with, like Ubuntu. 
Um, so that's something you can't do on, on the older ARM architectures like ARM 11. Um, so with this being a, a Cortex A8 ARM V7, you can just run Ubuntu, things you're familiar with. Um, we've, we've doubled the RAM, added the onboard storage, included the out-of-box experience. Uh, I think it all comes together to something that's really going to um, help really change the, the, the face of engineering education and, and get a lot more people interested in, in the types of open hardware that they can create personally. And I'm hoping to see a lot more um, people do this uh, um, successful model of bringing Kickstarters to life. So thank you.